Hello everybody, here is Sibeli Vieira again with the Creative Center and today we're going to do uh, abstracting with crayons, melting crayons. You always like think of what to do with all those leftover crayons you have at home. I always thought about what I'm going to do with those because I don't like to throw anything in the garbage. So here what we can do, we can do beautiful cards, you know, birthday cards. I know, and they're so much fun. Oh. And if you have glitter, you also can uh, put some glitter here. See here, I put some glitter. See, can you see the, all oh, my melting crayons? We can mask, you know. You can try to draw those, you know. This, the draw will take a longer time and you have to really experiment and improve, you know, in, in go. You know. But I think it's a lot of fun. So, so another card that I made it. Another, you know, I can use a lot of also leftover paper of that, you know. So that's what I do. So what we need? We need crayons, tons of leftover crayons, as you, you know, as you have at home. We need material for shaving the crayons. So I, so we can do a scraper, food scraper. You can use those. We also can use a uh, uh, no, sharpening. I felt like actually um, makeup sharpening are better than the normal sharpening because they're a little bigger. So, you know, and also the, is when you scrape. So let's, I'm going to do some scrape for you to see here. You, you know, it's a different texture because now it's going to, this is going to be more, more coarse. What I learned is about this guy is going to be more coarse. You know. Then the shaving. The shaving is going to be more delicate palettes. It's going to be thinner. So when you melt, it's going to the you no know, the one you do with the sharpening is going to be more even, more you no, know, even uh even um melting. But it's up to you. You try what you have at home and what you like it. You no. Know, I have no pressure because I preference I like both of them. Uh whatever, you no. Know. So it's all about, you no. Know, we also have the patient to do the shaving. I actually bribed my kid to do the shaving for me. I gave him three bucks and he shaved tons of colors. So I used, you know, I recycle all my yogurt pots. So, you no, know, so I have all different colors already pre-shaved for us today. I have green, pink, red, and I bribe him to shave for me. I pay him so he can buy his uh, online games. So, so that's the thing I think you can do too. You know, and I have some glitter for us to have some fun. So we need that. So melting. Melting is, you can do in two ways. You can put in the oven at 200 Fahrenheit for five minutes maximum. Okay, you're gonna have you know, a baking sheet and you have the parchment paper so it doesn't they'll destroy the paper on top. Five minutes maximum because if you, do more than that is gonna burn the paraffin wax. So the crayon is made with pigment and paraffin wax. And if you leave more than five minutes, it's gonna start to burn the paraffin wax. So when you see the final work, you're gonna see a little, you know, this oil things, that's the wax, okay? So you can, that's the part of the, the no, you can, there's nothing you can do about that. But I like it, I don't mind the paraffin wax, but no, that's all you have. Or you can do a little more um, hands-on you know, if you don't want to do the oven, you can build a little, uh, you know, paper thing and you have parchment paper as well. And you can do with your hair dryer. Okay. And I like to tape on the sides. I'm going to do one for us here because so when I do the hair dryer, does the, the crayon doesn't fly everywhere. Okay. But we're going to see it. So the first thing also, so the first thing you have to do, you have to have paper. Okay. What kind of paper? Uh, I like a little structure paper. No, not too thin paper because if, if you have too thin, when the melts, it's going to start to warp the paper, and you don't want that. You want to keep the, the the paper, you know, straight, you know, for the, for a card stuff like that. So this was actually it's a little warped, but it's, it's okay with me. If I put it, you know, on top of a book, it's going to straight up, you know. But this is um, uh, I'll say here I have the paper, uh, uh, print making paper. Now, watercolor paper are the best 
the one uh, that is uh, we have we have the, the one the texture, not um, the dry, what's the the one that have textured watercolor paper are the best because when the crayons dry, they need something to to glue on to. to. So to have some texture in the paper is really good for the crayon to last in, on your paper. Okay, so. I'm gonna do two ovens here. One we're gonna put on the oven first, and then the other one, well, the other one we're gonna do with the um, hair dryer. Okay. So to get inspiration, I've been looking a lot of like my favorite thing right now is to see um, the gardening catalogs they've been sending to me. So I get inspiration flowers. I know so nothing's gonna look like by the end like the flower but i like the inspiration oh i'm gonna do this garden look this beautiful garden let's do this garden here let's try to just now and it's gonna be an abstraction of this beautiful garden so let me see you guys can see my work spot here everybody can see so this is gonna be go in the oven okay so we have a little path. I think I have a little brownish here. No, I don't. I do here. So this is gonna be in the May. It's gonna be the path of the of the garden. I don't know. It's just gonna be an abstraction. So just don't. Okay. And I have little tools that I use, but no, you're gonna make your own tools. I have a little spoons. So that's the pom pom flower. Those are the aliens, aliens, aliens. I think they're from the flowers. So I'm gonna make the pom pom flowers. Oh. oh, and I'm gonna do some, um, I'm gonna mix some yellow for the top with some glitter, just for fun. So I'm gonna get actually the white glitter. And I mix beforehand because I want them to really be mixed because so the glitter, what's gonna glue the glitter to the paper is the crayon. So that's, I like to mix beforehand the glitter on the crayon. A little more glitter. And glues pretty well, it's really fun. So if you have glitter at home, you know, it's beautiful without the glitter too. Just because I had it, like I decided to try and I was like, oh, that's really cool. Put some glitter. So, are you seeing what I'm doing? And also you can get the, you know, the paintbrush later and organize more. I think we need more flowers here and i think we need some green coming out too so i'm gonna make the green like a kind of looks like there's some hostas over there so i'm gonna those are the hostas supposedly see have hostas here and i have aliens that's the path of the garden oops i don't want my hostas on top of my path so i have okay so i have a little so i can take it off the on the path here Okay, a little more hostas here. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. The other one. Okay, so I think we need a little more flowers too. More aliens. It's all an abstraction, though. It's all about have fun. I think we need another green that's not a house it's just you know stem of the aliens right here just in the middle of the purple cool and i'm gonna put a little more yellow okay so i'm gonna go to the oven right now very fast okay so, whoops also, you can work right on the thing. I should have done that, and I didn't on the tray. So now it's going to be a little tricky, but I'm going to do it. Oops, okay. So, here, I'm going to put it on the oven. Two seconds, and I'll be back. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so now put five minutes timer and 
when that is in the oven, we're gonna make another one here. Okay, that's what we're gonna do with the hair dryer. This I was thinking, I'm gonna get this paper here. I was thinking to do, so I put the parts and papers already, I put enough thing over here. I'm gonna do some masking, just for fun, because I haven't done that, I, haven't, I, do, I didn't mask in the oven, but I never did mask on the hair dryer. So just for fun. And we're gonna put, oops. And I do, I'm just doing hand dryers, just, just have fun. See what happens. Bad things sometimes happen as an experiment, and after that we can improve on top of the experiment, isn't it? So, whoops, it's so little. So I made a little, almost like a weaving, just for fun. One more here. Cool. Okay, we still have four minutes to go in the oven. So this one we're gonna go a little crazy. So let's do a little glitter. Um, let's see glitter on the. I have a blue. Let's put blue, blue and glitter here. Where this thing? Shoo. I don't want to glitter. I'm gonna blue here. So I'm gonna blue. Trying to put like blue, 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 blue. to make some pattern just for fun okay this is not good okay, this one. so blue is there with some gold i have no idea if it was gonna be any good so what i do also with the hair dryer don't make too thick of a layer because it's gonna be harder for the hair dryer to melt but you will figure out the more you do better you get no, I want some yellow. I'm gonna put some um, some glitter in the yellow too. I'm gonna put the white glitter. I have golden glitter and white glitter, kind of snowy glitter. So I made like, are you seeing what I'm doing? Okay. Choo, 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 choo. I think I already did the pattern wrong, but it's okay. It's about having fun. I'm gonna put some pink. I think we'll see. We're trying, we're having fun. Not promising anything here today. <laughs> no masterpieces, just fun pieces. That's the idea today, okay? I'm even mix some colors gonna be a little crazy okay so now you saw what I did I'm gonna put this guy on top now I'm gonna do actually what I do so it doesn't go crayons everywhere in the house I'm going to close down here because when I turn on the I don't, when I turn on the hair dry, I don't want to go to the curry flying everywhere. I just take care of that part. See? Okay. And I try to keep things straight so the crayon doesn't move inside. Very simple. I'm going to put my crayon a little way. So, it seems ugly paper here. So. And I'm gonna do my hair dryer. I can even not see if I could do the hair dryer with it's awesome. Okay, it's on. So let's go do this. Let's see what happens. I hope it 
Let me see. Let's take a look. And I think the oven one is ready. I have to run to the oven now before it burns the paper. So don't want to burn the paper. And here, after it's glue, with at least some of them not. I can even get some of them more melted. Let me just cut the thing so I can, fi can finish this guy here. And. Uh, came out really really nice Oof, look at this now we can keep working the nicest thing now is like you can just this is a first now if you want to keep doing more flowers you can put again in the oven okay let's see i, I want to put this more a little bit more burnt no just got a little more here to see this the cryon melts on the porcelain paper so you can just kind of smash around back to the paper because the, the when the crayon uh, goes out it does not attach to the porcelain paper because there's not enough texture in the porcelain paper for the crayon stay attached but look how beautiful it is so you can even like do like this now oh i like it a little bit more. Here and now, masking tape. Too much masking tape, but no, we have fun. We're learning. It's all about learning. Sometimes it's about the process, the beginning. It's kind of cool, actually. Too small, I think the smallest stripes would be cool too, you know. But it's you no. Know, the nice thing of, the, of about the hair dryer, you, you know, uh, melts the crayon, but not so much that doesn't make it all this. The this the don't sit some of the paraffin wax melted around. So that's it for today. So this is the oven one. We made it. And this is the one with the hair dryer. Very easy, isn't it? It's about experimenting, have fun. You can do a lot of stuff. Okay, so nice to be here. And uh, we're gonna make another one very soon. The next um, class is going to be about uh, paper weaving, okay? Bye-bye.